Howdy everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Not on the greatest uh, streak of wins here, in fact we're on a streak of losses, that's two in a row. So we're going to play as our new character, Eve, and hopefully shoot for a win. Like I said in the previous video, Eve is one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character personally. So, hopefully... <laughs> My God! If I just die like on the first floor, I'm gonna be so I'm just I'm just gonna be done recording for the day. This is a great item, Midas Touch. Basically, when you touch an enemy, it will still damage you, unfortunately, but it will also turn the enemy into gold. And if you kill them in that golden state, they will burst into money. So good deal. So what is happening with Eve? Because we've kind of already seen one of her main benefits. So I'll show you the seed here first, because I almost forgot again. Eight one S D. 81, sudden death, huge guys, y you cock. Good job, Argon. Um, she starts with Whore of Babylon and Dead Bird. Whore of Babylon we've seen before, but it acts a little bit differently, differently with Eve, because normally you have to get down to one half of a red heart in order for it to activate and give you the huge damage bonus. For Eve, it actually activates at just one full red heart, which is might not make it sound like much, but... It's a difference of twice as much HP, so... Pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> and Dead Bird makes it so that when you get hit, a little dead bird will appear and kind of fly around to the enemies and do a little bit of damage. I say a little bit, and that's kind of probably... Even even that's probably generous for Dead Bird. It does not do much damage at all. But you know what? Every little bit counts, so... I'm going to keep exploring just a little bit because I'm kind of hope... I don't know if I'm hoping to find a red heart because Eve's starting damage with that Horror Babylon is not very good. Like I said in the previous video, it's actually the lowest of any character in the game. So getting down to this Horror Babylon state is probably... It's probably better to do that earlier rather than later. And then try to stay there as much as possible. A general strategy that with Eve that seems to work well is to get down to your whore Babylon state nice and early, like first or second floor or something, and then just pick up spirit hearts as much as you possibly can. <laughs> and ideally trade away one of your uh, hearts for a deal with the devil. Ooh, well that gives us even more uh, <laughs> fodder for deals with the devil, I guess. Works for me. I actually wouldn't have been too mad if that had been a health downgrade now that I think about it, because it would have been another hor another. It would have kept us in the Horror Babylon state, so I'm trying to say there. See if we can get a spirit heart out of this. Lucky us. Actually, it's not lucky us. It actually would have been unlucky if we had not gotten a spirit heart out of that, because that's what Tinted Rocks usually pay out with. Okay, what do we got? Paralysis. Well, that was fun. <laughs> do I want to save my key for the shop, or just use it right here? Uh, well, I guess I have two now, so it doesn't even matter. D10. I'll take it because I got nothing else. And I never showed it off, I don't think. D10 re-rolls enemies on the ground. I feel like we've come across it once before, but maybe that's just my memory being foggy. So if you come across a room full of enemies that you don't particu particularly enjoy fighting, re-roll them, test your luck, and see if you can get a better uh, outcome. Doesn't work on, bot on bosses, as you might imagine. It would be a much more potent item if it actually did work on bosses, though. Seems like it would be reasonable. Okay, what do we got in here? Piggy bank. I'll take it. Makes us that it. I think it gives us five coins just right off the bat, so it actually only costs ten coins there. And it makes us that when we when we get hit, we drop money. Store upgrade level two. Good stuff. So our store will be bigger next time we come across it. Yeah, and Piggy Bank's not just a chance of dropping money when you get hit, it's literally every time you get hit, you'll drop money, so. Pretty darn good. Oh, let's check it out. Monstro, huh? <laughs> let's re-roll these enemies just for fun. Oh, that actually turned out really well. Like, it, it normally will not turn out that well for you, probably, just because, I don't know, I, just, I guess I just got lucky there. But it can re-roll any enemy in the game into any other enemy in the game, so that could have re-rolled those enemies into like womb level enemies like it could have re them into those laser eyes it there's some scary stuff that can happen with d10 so that's why i don't normally roll with it but 
for the sake of demonstration, might as well. Alright, what do we got? Uh, more HP. I'll take that for some more uh, currency on the deal with the devil here. And I will take both of those, I think. Guppy's collar and Guppy's head is a much better space bar item. Perfect with me. And I'm out of my horror Babylon state now, but you know what? I do remember there was a blood donation machine up here, and I hope I didn't blow it up like an asshole. <laughs> no, I didn't. So let's just use that, because that takes your red hearts. And we'll just do that. There we go. Well sorted, and Piggy Bank actually worked out pretty nicely for us there, too. So now we have Gubby's Collar, which is a little bit of death insurance. And, uh, Gubby's Head. Good stuff. Two Guppy items right off the bat. Can't complain about that. Mm, man, you have to taunt me with that nonsense. If I get that, if, oh, if I get desperate enough for a key or a bomb, then I'll consider it. But giving up half my health for one of those at this point is does not seem worth it in any in any way whatsoever. Want to pop up? Thank you. Ah. Okay, oh, almost walked headlong into those flies. That would have been pretty embarrassing. You, I'm going to isolate you from your friends. going to take you out. What you going to do now? Wow, you're really good at dodging. Or, or else I'm just really bad at shooting. Or probably both. All right, you guys can get out of here now. Can't believe you abandoned your friend up there. <laughs> what kind of assholes are you? There we go. Uh, I'll check it out really quick. Okay. I don't want to pick as the counterintuitive as it seems. Don't want to pick up those red hearts because that'll take me out of my horror Babylon state, and then I will be doing significantly less damage. Uh oh. If I get down to, like, half a red heart or something, then I probably will end up picking those up, though, just for my survivability's sake. And some turrets. Not so bad. There's dead bird in action. <laughs> Kinda cute. Alrighty. And at least now we have a key for our uh, treasure room. Or shop, whichever we happen to want to take. Because we're only one penny away from getting the shop item anyway. Or having the best chance of getting the shop item. There we go. <laughs> this room just annoys me. I don't know why. It just seems so, like... <laughs> like, they make that... They put that guy up on a pedestal by putting him over here on this little plinth. It's not actually a plinth, but... Forgive my horrible terminology. <laughs> It's just silly, though. They make him seem like such a bigger deal than he actually is. Alright. Red and green, you guys need to just, uh... It's like the zombie versions of Mario and Luigi or something. That's what those guys were. Got a pill here. Could be telepills, so I'm not going to use it right away. Now I'll use it. Full health. What hurt me? Oh, it was the fires shooting at me. <laughs> So full health was kind of bad there, to be perfectly blunt with you. But you know what? I'm not going to just hurt myself on purpose to, to, in order to compensate for that. So let's just have fun taking literally probably five minutes on this room. <laughs> so strap in, guys. Uh, we might not even survive this room. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just take another hit. Not from that guy. I don't want to take it from that guy because then I'll be down to just half a red heart. Knowing my luck now, though, I'm just I'm gonna take a hit specifically from that guy, and also in the most roundabout way that I could possibly take a hit from him. Can you slow down, please? I know you're. Oh my God! See what did I tell you? What did I tell you? All right, gotta be careful now. Actually, Gubby's collar could save me, but I'm not counting on it. Ooh, I was for some reason I thought that battery was really good, but it's really not. Alright, uh, before trying to negotiate that minefield, let's do that. 
And now let's go back for this and that. Perfect. Now I can actually head to both of these rooms. <sighs> Bob's rotten head, huh? <laughs> Don't really want it. Guppy's head is better in my mind. And the coin purse. Mom's coin purse. I think I'd rather take the spirit heart, to be perfectly honest. And then just donate the rest of the machine. Because I don't think Mom's coin purse has a high enough chance of being good for us to justify spending all that money on it. So hopefully that was not a mistake and that didn't contain, like, a pill that I can't even fathom, like balls of steel or something. Because that would have been great, but I guess we'll never know now. Unless we miraculously get enough money to buy it. I don't, know, I don't even know necessarily what I'm saving this. I'll just use the magician card on this room. Make it hopefully a little bit quicker. Have I gotten any damage upgrades? Because I feel like I'm doing more damage than baseline Eve is supposed to do. I don't feel like I've gotten any damage upgrades, though. Not any traditional ones, anyway. Like, I have dead bird and stuff. Minus touch. Yeah, no, nothing really. Uh, tri tri triple A battery is a trickle charge. I don't know if that's going to necessarily work with uh, Guppy's head, but... Better to have it than not. Gertie. <laughs> Most popular boss of 2015. According to my Let's Play, anyway. Can I take this guy down? Before he takes me down? Whoa, okay. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. That probably did catch on video, too. The frames dropping there, but... That was really weird. Just, like, totally freaked out for a second. <laughs> Gertie, what have you done? He's becoming a tumor on my game engine. Huh. Even with Dead Bird, this is going to take a long time. So how are you guys doing today? It's uh, January 20th is the day I'm recording this. You're probably not going to see it until, what, January 22nd, I feel like? Maybe 23rd? It's not, at least not going to be uploaded to, until that point, but you might see it later than that. If you see it earlier than that, let me know, because that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make small talk so we can deal with Gertie here. Because it seems kind of formulaic at this point, doesn't he? I, I swore I was just about to take a hit after I said that. Nope. Alright, we're good. Uh, no deal with the devil or anything, unfortunately. Not to say that I expect any less. Let's go back really quick and check for a secret room. I've got one bomb, might as well put it to good use. Hopefully, anyway. Um, I'd rather... Because I think it's in that room below me, but I think I'd rather bomb from this room just to have a better shot at placing the bomb in the correct position. There it is. Uh, and more bombs! Well, it, li it mathematically was a good idea to come in here. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with numbers, man. I get this money up here that I forgot about. I guess that was probably from Piggy Bank or something, and I was just too flustered to pick it up at the time. And down we go. Ah, uh, is this... This is... Oh my gosh, this is only going to be Caves 2? Are you kidding me? Or Catacombs 2, even? It's Caves 2, but it could have been Catacombs 2, because I think we... We have unlocked... We've unlocked the Catacombs, right? Yeah, we did. I felt like we were later in... <laughs> It feels like I've been at this for so long, though. It's been, just been such an arduous process so far. Alright, what do we got? I don't even know why I said that. It's obvious what we got. We got shit damage against shit enemies. This is the shit palace of Isaac. New level comes before the basement shit palace. And uh, you die on it every time. Or at least I do. I'm really hoping I can just get... I, I, okay, Gluttony could give me an, a health upgrade. 
That is a big thing with gluttony. I don't know if I'd want it necessarily, but I'd, I'd probably take it. But more than anything, I just want some damage upgrades, because if the game is so like firm that it doesn't want me to be in the Fort Babylon state, which it seems to be, judging by the way it's been treating me, <laughs> then, um, uh, no health upgrade, but then I just want to get some damage upgrades, like a normal character, so I can just live a normal life. I'm a real girl. I want to be this... Oh my gosh. I'm even wearing my mom's lipstick. I'm so... I'm such a keener. Eve, you're such a keener. I'm probably already screwed my deal with the devil chances now that I've taken red heart damage. This is going to be a slow and painful run. <laughs> if that has, if that much hasn't been already made obvious, I suppose. Oh, okay, poor Babylon. Don't know that I necessarily want to stay in this state because I don't trust my survivability. Was there a heart up there? There was. I'll go pick it up. <laughs> If it had been half a heart, I probably wouldn't have picked it up, because, like, what the hell difference is that going to make anyway? But a full heart could make the difference between life and death. I mean, literally, half a heart could also make the difference between life and death, but it's so much less likely. Okay. Step one of fighting Larry Jr., don't walk straight into Larry Jr. Step two of fighting Larry Jr., kill Larry Jr. Man, he was hunting me down for a second there. One of them was, anyway. Despite the way Larry Jr. behaves, I don't think he actually has any AI that lets that like makes him hunt you down. It's just kind of random the way he moves. Oh, oh, there's my touch in action. Hell yeah! <laughs> if anything else, like we might die on this run, but at least we'll die rich. Okay. We can definitely get this chest. And that is worth it. Okay. If I can find like a blood donation machine now, I would be over the moon. Because it would put us in a reasonably better spot. Or just some way to trade away our red health. I don't even care at this point. Like a demon beggar would work. Deal with the devil would work. So, effectively, a Joker card will be what I would want there, because I don't think I'm going to get one after the boss just normally. Doesn't feel like it anyway. No. Uh oh. My Spear Heart's going to be gone before I know it. See, that's the shitty thing about Eve, is that if you get a Spear Heart, if you're not already in the Horror Babylon state at that point, it becomes a lot harder to keep that spirit heart because you fight such gauntlets of enemies or at fighting every enemy is such a pain in the ass like it's such a process you're just bound to, oh my god you're just bound to get bored is spider butt better than guppy's head for me mass enemy slowdown and damage it's not necessary like it's not a lot of damage I think guppy's head is better for me just personally now hopefully I can find another key and get into this shop and get something actually decent. Let's check for a secret room here. Nope. How about here? Second time lucky? Nope. I've already found the secret room? No, I haven't. Uh, wouldn't be over there. So it's probably in a spot we just haven't seen yet. Get that TNT barrel primed and ready to go for when one of them gets near. Oh, he primed it himself. There we go, that was nice. Oh, stay away from me. You and your ugly face. I'm the one wearing the pretty lipstick, you just have blood in your mouth. It's not the same, Larry Jr., it's not the same. So that's an arcade, which more than likely has a blood donation machine in it. So, is it... Is, is half a spirit heart enough to want me to get it? it you know what? It, it actually is enough to make me feel safer 
getting down to the whole Babylon state. So let's, if I can just kill this guy, there we go. And there's a key for our shop, perfect. Perfecto. Alright, blood donation, I will do that. There we go. And let's head down to our shop. What am I ideally expecting out of the shop? Or hoping for out of the shop? Could be a damage upgrade. There are certain I, I think there's at least one item in there that I can think of off the top of the head, off the top of my head, that would upgrade our damage. And that is not it. But you know what? I'll take it regardless. And I think I'll take this as well. The fanny pack will make it so that when we get hit, we have a chance of dropping a consumable. Or we might just drop a consumable every time we get hit. But the consumable itself will be randomized. And now let's head back and maybe play around in that arcade for just a little while. Hopefully get a spirit heart or something. Or even just a regular heart so that we can get more money and play the arcade longer. <laughs> it's a cycle, man. Uh, oh, I don't have any money to play. What am I thinking? I just donated it all away. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think these things through. Ooh, what the hell is that? You might be wondering. Never seen that kind of thing before. Well, if you remember a few videos back when we did the first challenge of the game and we beat it, we unlocked the Rune of Hagalaz, and that is what a rune looks like in this game. It's a brand new feature to Rebirth, not present in the original game. And it effectively is similar to a tarot card or a pill, it takes up that same slot, and it'll have a random effect. Hagalaz is destruction, which despite the amazing sounding name, is not especially incredible. It doesn't like destroy enemies or anything, it just destroys all the rocks or otherwise in the room. So it could be very uh could be very helpful. But it's not necessarily the greatest thing in the world. It's a situational rune. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Getting a little bit of extra money thanks to Piggy Bank there. And I'll play these guys. I don't think I have the highest luck stat in the world, so it's not going to work out super well, but it's worth a shot, I guess. Uh, okay. Well, there's our boss, so it's do or die, I guess. Pretty much literally at this point. Alright, don't let yourself get hit by the champion, at the very least. Stay away from me. Don't you dare. Thank you. Alright, what do we got? Take a deep, calming breath, and away we go. Alright, I can handle that. I don't have a ton of bombs to deal with this, but you don't need bombs to fight Chubb by any stretch. I want to take out these silkworms before anything else. That's a, That battery could be integral to our success here. No reason to use Hogalaz, it won't help us at all in this fight, so keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that Chubb, I think we found it at last run, does one hard damage if he hits you, so just keep baiting him into this, but be careful with how you do it. Because I don't want him to summon any enemies, but there we go. Okay, good. Deal with the devil by any chance? No. <laughs> I didn't expect one. Tears up is something. It's not a damage upgrade still, but it's something usable, I guess. <laughs> Let's get a move on. Alright. The depths. Still haven't gotten any damage upgrades outside of Horror Babylon. But that could be all we need. So you never know. Just gotta have faith. In ourselves and in the game. Watch out for that guy. Don't leap on me, please. Perfect. Uh, I'll bomb this just in case there's a black market or a crawl space in one of those rocks. And I think I'll bomb over here, because it could open up a secret room at the same time. It didn't? Oh, okay. But it opened up something else entirely. Oh. That's not what I wanted to see, man. <laughs> Mr. Boom. Not better than Guppy's head for us, unfortunately. 
If we run out of bombs, though, and we desperately need one, there, I'll have to keep that in mind. Goat head. So now we're guaranteed to get a deal with the devil after this floor, provided we can survive it. Survive long enough to get that far, that is. And there's our treasure room, thankfully. Right off the bat. Okay. Rotten Baby is, is a pretty good pickup. Granted, we already had the ability to spawn flies, but I'm never going to say no to Rotten Baby. I don't know if we've gone over it or not, but Rotten Baby makes it so that he'll, he'll just, like, shoot at a fly for you every so often. Well, it's fairly periodical. It's not like with every shot that you make, but every time you shoot, and if, if you shoot and you don't have a, a fly spawned by Rotten Baby, he'll spawn one, is effectively the formula that I've noticed. If I could get into that shop, I would be pretty happy about it. I would be forever in your debt game. I have... Oh, that was really bad. Okay, I have one bomb. Oh. oh I was hoping... <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's do this. Hogalaws. That was not worth it. Oh, this could be bad. Keep your wits about you. You'll be fine. Larry Sr. is not that bad. Okay. Oh, there's a key, thankfully. Like, that's the sigh that you heard there, that kind of like, oh. That was like, uh... It, it started as like, oh man, that's not a red heart. So, but, then I, but then I realized halfway through, wait, it's a key. It could lead me to a red heart. Or a greed fight. Oh no! <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. Okay, just just focus. Just focus. Don't get hit. There we go. Okay, he was about to shoot there too. That was scary. Oh god damn. I feel like we've been in this situation before, on several previous runs. But we didn't have horror Babylon. We weren't playing as my favorite character on those runs. So you know what? We're gonna make this work. I was worried about that. Okay, check here for a secret room. Perfect. I knew it couldn't have been greed, but it's three of the same pill. And they're all health down. <laughs> which, you know what, that makes this a health up. Which I'm going to take. And then I'll take this health down pill, just in case it has the chance of coming in handy later on. Okay, so that was kind of... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That could give me one extra hit. It could not, depending on the enemy that hits me, but it has the chance. I could survive this still. There's hope yet. Not much, but it exists. Okay. I don't know if I want to use that health down pill that I'm thinking about it, because it, like I said, it could put me in the whore Babylon state. Permanently. Or permanently until I pick up another health upgrade anyway. But I don't know if that's worth it at this point. I think I'd rather just keep my two heart containers and try to f try to fill them both, to be perfectly honest. Because at this point I'd like the chance to take more hits. If I could take more hits and do more damage, I'd... I, it, like, if I can get that all rolled up in one, one nice meat pickup from the boss or something, I'd be happy with that. I would take it in a heartbeat. Okay. Watch out for the spikes, because they will kill you. There's the boss. Don't hit me. Don't you hit me. You've mother... Oh my god. Was that fanny pack that dropped that? That was fanny pack. That total... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That was... Perfect. Headless Horseman. Not the easiest thing in the world, but... The flies are helping. That's good. Don't have horror Babylon anymore. Okay, the head is dead. That's good, actually, because the head actually kind of catches me off guard a lot. And I just have to deal with this guy. I'm afraid that those bombs will do one heart of damage, though. Because most explosions do. I'm really kind of owing a lot of my success to Rotten Baby here, I just realized. There we go. Okay. A pony. That could, uh... I don't know if I'll replace Guppy's head with that just yet. Guppy's tail. Oh. 
you know what, I should take it because I have I have a health down pill, so it turns a health up pill when I take this. And that's third Guppy item. That turns me into Guppy. I unlocked Guppy's hairball. I unlocked challenge number eight. Cat got your tongue, and I am now Guppy myself. So this isn't something I haven't actually talked about, but the Guppy transformation is the second of two transformations because uh, we already had Lord of the Flies once before. Let's just head on down now. And in my opinion, and I think in most people's opinion, Guppy is a much, much better transformation than Lord of the Flies. It makes it so that... Um, let's just donate, I think. Yeah, it makes it so that you can fly, just like Lord of the Flies. But it also makes it so that when you shoot enemies, every time your tier hits, I think, every time, or every time you hit with one of your tiers, you will spawn a fly. And, ooh, there's the black candle. You can buy that in the shop now. Cool. And that fly generation is so, so valuable. So if I can survive a little bit here. So I don't know. Is it, is it every hit? It looks like I'm spawning a lot of flies. I've never been clear on whether it's with every single tier as Guppy, but you spawn a lot of flies as Guppy is the main thing. So even though, like, even out of our Horror Babylon state, even though we're not doing much damage, so our flies in turn won't be doing much damage, there's just so many of them that it'll rack up. Well, now it'll definitely rack up, because Horror Babylon and all that. I don't think I've ever used the word whore so much in my life, except for, except for this video. Uh, did I kill that invisible one? I think I... If I didn't, the flies did. They're not attacking anything. All right. Ooh. Is there any? I was gonna check to see if there was any way I could bomb multiple skulls at once with this bomb. Wrath could be worse. Wow. See, that's that's the power of the flies. If you have like a whole horde of them like that, they definitely do. They can save your life in more more times than you might think. So, I think I'm feeling in a lot better of a spot now that I'm Guppy. And in case you weren't keeping track, uh, Guppy, to turn into Guppy, you have to collect three Guppy items. So we got the hairball. No, we unlocked the hairball, that's right. We, oh, Tammy's head. That is probably not what we want right now. I'll keep Guppy's head. Yeah, we picked up the tail, we picked up the head, and we picked up the collar. So sweet. Alright, give me some black hearts if you be so kind. Uh, the sun and the hermit. Hmm. Tears up, that is fine by me. That's actually more fly generation in a really strange way. I think I'll use the hermit. Teleport to the shop. No key for sale. That's kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. So that I could get access to my treasure room. Speaking of, all right, I'll pick up this red heart and hopefully find some keys at some point here. Oh, keys, please. One key, okay. So that'll allow me to either open this chest or the treasure room. Take your guess. Oh man, curse the maze! Stop it! You're not being funny. An HP upgrade. I'll take it. What do I have to lose at this point? I, I don't. I don't have anything to lose. I just have more to gain. In a perfect world, anyway. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that HP upgrade will pay for itself because we'll get a deal with the devil thanks to Goathead. Provided we can kill Mom, that's the first and most important step, probably. <laughs> And we'll have enough health to kind of barter with the with the devil a little bit. Thank you, minus touch. That didn't necessarily help, but it's the thought that counts, you know. Look at all these. It's just like a ring of blue around me. Baby blue, baby blue. Uh, secret room over here. By any chance? Nope. Alright. Maybe in the room adjacent to me now. 
adjacent to me now. Where are you? There you are. Gotcha, sucker. Uh, I don't think there was any way I could have gotten that skull in the same explosion. Maybe there was, but I wasn't privy to it. And there's some more bombs anyway, so... Alright, let's get these skulls. Uh, this could be great. Two of hearts. I'll keep it. Okay. Well, actually, don't we have a sun card back there somewhere? I feel like we do. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, Mom. Let's do this. Let's dance the dance of death. Whose death is going to be entirely up to me. Thankfully, the guppy transformation is helping a lot here. Yeah, guppy's head in combination with being guppy and in combination with undead baby, not uh, rotten baby, is giving us enough fly power to compensate for most for our lack of damage upgrades. Kind of. What the hell hit me? I didn't even see. I can't, I don't know if I just like my eyes glazed over for a second there and I just totally missed it, or if it, or if it was just hard to see. Uh oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Midas Touch. All right, just a little bit more. Get her, get her, get her. Perfect. Oh, and an actual damage upgrade. A real one. Finally. After all this time. Okay. We've got Missing Page 2, and we've got Gimpy. I could take them both, and that'll put me in Horror Babylon state. But neither of them seem really worth it to me. Missing Page 2 makes us that I think when you get down to, like, one red heart and get hit, then it does, like, a lot of damage to enemies on the room, or has a chance to do a lot of damage to enemies. It's kind of, it's, pr it's pretty terrible, to be perfectly honest. And Gimpy we've already seen when you hit it, drop a Spirit Heart sometimes. I don't know... I think I'd rather just stay as I am. If this setup right now was enough to beat Mom, and now I have a damage upgrade, so I'll be doing a little bit better, too. And my flies will be doing more damage as a result, too. But I feel like I don't need either of those items in order to win, and I probably don't need Horror Babylon, either. As blasphemous as that might be to say. Because <laughs> that's one of the key features of EVE. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Ah, oh, you're taunting me. That's the result of Guppy's tails. That's what all these chests are coming from. Tinted rock right there. Asshole. <laughs> Could have really used more spear hearts right there. Because now enemies are going to be doing one heart of damage, and I'm not feeling comfortable with that. Oh, oh, fuck. I know that wasn't like the worst thing in the world because we still have a reasonable amount of health, but you know what? Every hit counts at this point in the game. I'm not feeling as like I know I said like we didn't need any of those deal with the devil items to win or the horror Babylon or anything, but I'm still not feeling like I'm still gonna have to concentrate in order to win. It's not like that Tammy's head homing brimstone run where I can just like wa literally walk into a room, spe press spacebar, and win. No, I actually have to actually focus here want to have any hope in hell. In other words, I just have to play my heart out. Play us away, Sonny Jim. And now for the musical accompaniment of uh, Dr. Drew Barrymore. Alright, you stay away from me, please. These pendulum guys are so weird. There we go. I do have this two of hearts card to fall back on at least. I should have just let the... Ooh, I'll take that. The tick is offers me a little bit of health regeneration when I come across a boss, so that's fine by me. And I'll take that too. Okay, who do we got? Loki. Probably one of the easier bosses we could have come across, thankfully. Just don't make me regret saying that now. Come on. Okay, that's one down. Don't forget your two hearts card if you need to use it and use it. 
Okay, oh my gosh, I asked for this earlier in the run, and now it's finally giving it to me. Thank you kindly. Dark bum. You're being too kind to me now, game. Finally, I've persevered through all the shit you had to throw at me, and you're, you're like, alright, let's enough messing with them, let's actually give them the opportunity to win at the last second here. Oh, and then you just have to go ahead and throw a wrench into it all with Curse of the Lost. Granted, you could have thrown a worse wrench, but I'm still not happy about it. What do we got? Infamy. <laughs> See? The game does feel sorry. It feels remorse. <laughs> this is scientifically conclusive proof that video games feel emotion. Not really. Don't go presenting this to Harvard or anything. You'll look like an idiot. But... Alright. Uh, I could play that arcade, but I don't see the... Like, I see the benefit, but it's not reasonable enough for me to... Ooh. For me to want to try. Like, if I'm not going to win without playing that arcade, then I'm, I wouldn't have won with by playing that arcade either. That's the way I'm kind of looking at it. Uh, I will play this guy, though, because he could give me something nice. Kind of considering playing that other guy too, but that's a lot riskier. I think I'm just gonna blow him up, both of them. The rosary bead, ew! Don't need that right now. That ups our faith stat, giving us a higher chance to deal with the angel. And you know how much we want those right about now. Okay. Oh, not so bad. Uh, thank you, Guppy, for letting me fly like this. Uh, oh, Black Heart, even better. Even better than Soul Heart, or Spirit Heart, or whatever you want to call it. Blue Heart. Uh, there's a key room there. That's got to be like a library or something. This is also a dead end, I just realized. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but it could be worth it. Got some Hogalaz runes here, because they're the only runes we've unlocked so far. Hierophant. Two spirit hearts. Works for me, baby. And I'll take the two hearts with me. I should check this. Because you never know. See? Exactly. I gained one spirit heart out of that deal. Alright, I don't think I've headed right here, so let's see what we got. Wow. I was about to make like a total joke about how easy this room was, but before the words could even come out of my mouth, one of those guys just bum-rushed me. So, just foot in my mouth, I guess. Uh, mysterious candy, no thank- I couldn't take it if I wanted to, actually, now that I realize I have the tick. But you know, the tick is a much better trinket anyway, so... <laughs> Joke's on you! Uh, oh, a golden key, and a spear heart, too. That was great. Killed most of our flies, but killed it. Killed lust too. Paralysis, yeah. All right, we gotta be coming up on our boss fairly soon here. Oh, thank you, Midas Touch. <laughs> Save my bacon a little bit there. You know, a lot of people. Everyone says like save my bacon, but no one ever says like save my sausage or anything. Which, speaking in euphemisms. Makes a lot more sense to me. But, oh well. You know, save my sausage, save my, uh. Sausage holder. I couldn't think of a better metaphor for vagina than that. Sorry. What the hell's a sausage holder? My hand? Ugh. <laughs> Shut up, you're not funny. Alright, I'm thinking down. What do you guys think? There it is. <laughs> if you said any other direction, you're an idiot. Or you just got unlucky, I guess. Bob's brain? Sure. Come along for the ride, man. At this point, why not? Alright, Mom's heart. Eve versus Mom's heart. It's the first time we see Mom's heart in a while, actually. Because after we, because we didn't see her on the challenge, and we didn't, uh, haven't seen her on any run since, because we lost all of them. Just gotta 
Okay, Bob's Rain, go in. Oh, I was hoping Bob's Rain would get the kill. That would be kind of funny. Not going to bother with this deal with the devil here, because that's a... <laughs> we'll save that for later, still. Just going to get what should be, I think, the sixth ending. There is a disease going around, so, uh, watch out for that. If you find yourself throwing up poisonous bombs, call your doctor. Or, uh, call the president or something, I don't know. Call someone, please. Because <laughs> I don't want that happening. Alright, so that's one win under our belts. Let's see if we can start. I guess I should have kind of expected to have a little bit more trouble keeping our win streak going, because after that fifth win that we got, if you remember, we got the Everything is Harder achievement. So everything did become literally harder. Ipecac and Crow Baby have appeared in the basement. Crow Baby for beating Mom's Heart as Eve. And uh, Ipecac just for beating Mom's Heart for the sixth time. So there we go. I reckon next time we will probably play as Kane again, because he's the only character we haven't actually won with yet. So you can see by the post-it note up there. So yeah, look forward to that next time. Thanks everyone for joining me on this little bit of an arduous run, but we made it in the end. And now this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.